Hi there, my name is Dr. Jay Brightlow with Greenleaf Chiropractic, and with me as always is my trusty assistant, Larissa. So, hi, Larissa. Hi. Right on cue. So what we're talking about here today is we're talking about pain in the mid, back, thoracic area, shoulder blade, so, so this whole area in here. And so there's two really, really easy things that you can do at home. By the way, with all these exercises, with all the things we're talking about, please don't do this without consulting your doctor and all the other fine print that's supposed to go with this. So this may or may not be applicable to you, but generally speaking, these exercises work really well at home for the short term for relief of pain, and also for the long term for helping your posture. Frequently people talk about a, a dowager's hump, kind of this old man thing. So this is that a long term subluxation, this is what it looks like. You start working through things in the short term. Getting your posture set up like this will help you so that you don't have that happen. So the first thing we're going to teach you about is the wall. So if you want to grab a, grab a wall there, Larissa. You're just going to go up against the wall. I'm going to bring this closer. And so what you want to do is put your arms off up to the side like an angel. There you go. Good job, Larissa. And there's two things that we're looking for. So she's going to take her arms up and down. There you go, just like that. And there's, there's a couple things you want to make sure of. First of all, the mid part of your back, you don't want to have that, that real arch like that. You want to actually have it as flat as possible. So if you can sneak, if somebody can get their hand in the, in the small of your back there, you're not doing it right. You want to push that mid, you want to push that belly button as far back to the wall as possible. Is that a little uncomfortable? Uh, it's not easy. <laughs> it shouldn't, if this is easy, you're doing it wrong. So this should be difficult for you to do. So push that belly button, and you shouldn't be able to get a hand back in there. She's doing a good job. Shoulder blades, these guys should be back against the wall all the way. And then you want to take those arms up as high as you can, at least to 90 degrees. There's a little hook on the wall there. And then all the way back down. So just show, just show us. The light. <laughs> Never mind the hook and the, and the light there. So, uh, which brings up another good point. Make sure you've got a big flat wall that you can do this again. I'll, I'll jump in. Again, you're looking to find. Uh, in, the mid, in addition to the mid back, your wrist should be against the wall and your elbow. So elbows and wrists and that back of your head. So here's your checklist as you're doing this. Head against the back of the wall, wrist against the back of the wall, elbow against the back of the wall, and the small of your back to get as flat as possible. All that will make sure that your mid-back spine is as flat as possible. So that's one. Okay, two. One of my most favorite is the foam roller. I'm gonna do this against the wall here, but I would highly recommend that when you do this from home, that you're doing it on the floor. And what you're gonna do is you just, it's just, so easy if you've got gravity working for you. And my favorite way is just up and down like this. And you can take it up as high as possible. You might even have a couple, couple pops, cracks, and clicks as you do that. I can only do it so far, and I'm doing it against the wall here. But when you're doing it uh, on the floor, you can actually take it all the way, almost all the way down to the sacrum, and even into the sides, the, the IT bands. You can, you can really use a foam roll everywhere. But specifically for this, we're after this part right here. If you want to put more weight, uh, and get a deeper push with the foam roller, you can always cross your arms like this and just lean back a little bit more. And that's gonna be the best way to, uh, to exercise your mid-back and thoracic region, your shoulder blades. If you have any questions or comments, concerns at all, please contact your doctor. If I'm your doctor, just grab me in the office and talk to me. But I really, really highly, these are both highly recommended exercises to do on a daily basis. There's no limit to how little or how much you can do them. You'll know, it, 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 it's hard. It, it, it's hard to do this proper. And if you, can, if you can do this for like an hour, something's not right. Your hands are forward, or your, your elbows aren't against the wall, or your back's not totally flush. Good. Thanks for joining us today, team.